Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. You can click on the little Carfax icon next to the vehicle. It'll say Carfax Advantage Dealer or Carfax One Owner. That'll pull up the free Carfax for you. 952-540-9000. You can call us to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment, so please do call ahead to set up an appointment. 952-540-9000. Between 10.30 and 6, Monday through Friday, and 10.30 to 3 on Saturdays, please call ahead to set up your appointment. All of our vehicles are uh, inspected by third-party mechanic shops prior to being put online. You're welcome to have it inspected as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Also, aftermarket warranties are available for purchase on any vehicle in 411 Carline's inventory. Ask us about that and uh, we're happy to share. It's also attached to the Carfax, which you'll receive when you come in. It's a 2006 Toyota 4Runner SR5. It's in pretty good condition for the year and the miles. I'd say a little above average. Um, I'll take you around the exterior, the interior, the underside, the engine bay. It's a little windy out today, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, overall condition, like I said, it's a little above average. Uh, it does have a little bit of rock chipping on the hood here. Um, not uncommon. Unfortunately, we don't have this color, and it looks really funny when you do a bunch of little touch-up blobs, but uh, I'll have to see if we can get this color because it comes in once in a while. But front bumper looks decently clean. There's a couple rock chips here and there. Um, very little, a couple little striations right here. Headlights are pretty clear, at least for a Toyota, I would say. So you keep walking around here, we'll take a look at the wheels. Wheels are okay, they, they have this flaking issue, so you see the little flaking area there. So the only real way to fix that is to have them, uh, have them stripped and powder coated. So all of them kind of do it. Tires are in good condition. They're, uh, it looks like they're probably like 60% or so. We replaced them at 50, so I know that they're greater than 50%. Firestone destinations. They do have a slight bit of weather checking, but nothing too concerning. So, a little scratch here. It does have a moonroof. little scratches along here. Must have parked in the same spot in the parking garage or in the garage garage every day and someone opened their door there. A couple little scuffs along here. This uh, fender flare, it's pretty common for the clear coat to get a little dry looking, so that one's a little dry looking. A couple little specks there. Back bumper looks pretty good here. Got a trailer hitch. Uh, it's got the tow package because it has the seven pin connector over here. Whew, sun's getting down, so sorry for the poor lighting, but a little you know, dordings on this fender flare as well. It's not perfect by any means, but the most important thing is the underside on these four runners, which I'll show you in a minute here. That wheel is pretty decent, but it does have a little bit of flaking you can see right in that area. Same thing with this wheel here too. The interior is pretty good condition. It's kind of like that, uh, I don't know, like a tannish color. It's not quite the gray that they come in, but a little bit lighter than that. Non-smoker vehicle. Doors look nice and clean. Door jams. Dog legs look nice and clean. Usually you get a little rust down in that area. This one does have the third row too, which is super rare. These seats do fold down, of course, and flip up like that. Now I'm gonna have a hard time doing this. Well, maybe not. Got it, one-handed. So 
these seats are kind of like the Land Cruisers and the uh, the uh, GX 470s. They they fall down, or they fall down. They fold down and they clip into those little spots right there. I knew there was a storm rolling in today. That's why it's been so windy all day. So yeah, this one's a seven passenger, pretty rare. We buy a lot of these Forerunners and I haven't seen a whole lot of them that have that option. So I think we've only had a handful, a couple of them actually. Oh, I forgot to show you the underside on the other side. So it's not rust free because it's from the East Coast, but it's actually relatively clean comparatively to other Forerunners. Um, you look at the frame rails here, the main spots for rust are right under here and right there. There's a little bit of surface starting there, but nothing too concerning. If this were mine, I would probably, uh, probably wire brush it or sand it and then undercoat it, and it would probably help it a lot. It would save it for the long run, especially in Minnesota. But actually looks pretty good. Floor looks pretty decent. Exhaust system looks pretty decent. So, like I said, definitely not rust free, but Definitely cleaner than lots that you'll find. So, show you this side too. So yeah, if you look underneath this uh, skid plate, it's actually decently clean for a Forerunner. Usually these are pretty rusty, the gas tank skids. Frame looks pretty decent on this one too. Especially for 140,000, 147,000 miles. Power seat or manual seat with lumbar. Hop in, start it up here for you. This one has 149, 895 for miles on it. Does have the automatic uh, climate control option. Automatic climate control, uh, radio works as it should. A AC. AC is working right now. It does have uh, four wheel drive, moonroof. as it should. Uh, let's see what else in here. It does have cruise control, has audio controls here. Uh, this is an 06 so there will be no augs or anything. Oh wait a second there is an augs down in there. Hard to see because the lighting right now but there is an augs port. Looks like it also has a manual with it as well. Uh, just has a normal mirror sunglass holder 149 895 for miles uh, this one uh, what was I gonna say regarding that no lights on the dash of course it's been fully inspected fully serviced this one has uh, fog lamps on it too power windows power locks keyless entry I'll hop out here I will uh, open the hood you under the hood here. My phone does pick up small engine or belt train noise, so it'll be louder on my phone than it would be in person. So it looks pretty decent in here. Like I said, it's definitely not rust free, but there's no like rot in the fender wells here. Pretty decent. Under the hood looks pretty decent too. You can usually tell a lot of about these when you look in this kind of area or how much rust is in this area because that's where all the road spray comes from. So, I mean, look at the bullets. These usually are super rusty in there. Look pretty good. A little, uh, 
condenser supports there look pretty good on it, so overall it's pretty pretty decent condition for a forerunner of this vintage. So we had 952-540-9000 to set up an appointment or ask any questions. Thanks for your time today, have a great day.